Welcome to the homework for lesson four. This is module three, module seven of grade three. Put your name on here first, please, so you don't forget it later. Complete the chart by answering true or false. So we have three columns here, attribute, polygon, and is that a true example of the attribute? So here's our polygon here. Does it have four sides? True. Does this have two sets of parallel sides? Just think of this as saying as being all, all parallel sides. Um, sometimes thinking of two sets of parallel sides because a parallel side is also a set of two, so it's two sets of two. It can be really confusing to think of sets of parallel sides. So just think of, are all the sides parallel? This one is parallel to that one, and that one is parallel to that one, so it's true. Four right angles. Well, I don't see any right angles there, so that's false. A right angle, we think of it as a square. It's sometimes called a square corner. The one that you see in a square. Quadrilateral. Well, a quadrilateral has to have four angles or four sides, right? And this has, this has that, so it's true. Each quadrilateral below has at least one set of parallel sides. Trace each set of parallel sides with a colored pencil. I'm going to use a green one. So this is parallel to that, but also, and you don't have to use a different color, but I'm going to, this side is parallel to that side. And this is parallel to that, so that's one set of parallel sides. And this is parallel to that, so that's another set of parallel sides. And square, this side's parallel to that side, and this is parallel to that. So they both have two sets of parallel sides. One set of green and one set of pink. Using a straight edge, sketch a different quadrilateral with at least one set of parallel sides. So those all have, we have a, uh, a rhombus and a square and a rectangle that's not a square. Uh, a rhombus that's not a square also. Um, so we need uh, something that's not a square or a uh, rhombus or a rectangle that has at least one set of parallel sides. So you could draw a uh, parallelogram. That would work. You could draw a, uh, I have a parallelogram that's, you know, of course it's not a, a rhombus or a rectangle. And you could draw, you could also draw a trapezoid. A trapezoid that's not a parallelogram. So we need a straight edge for this. Don't try to do this without using a straight edge because it's not going to look right. I'm using the edge of an index card. You can use a ruler, whatever you have. Uh, that you know the back of a paperback book. Um, there's all kinds of things you can use for straight edges if you don't have a ruler. So I'm going to draw. A, uh, I'm going to draw a trapezoid. And I think of trapezoids, I think of the red pattern blocks. Or I have... Side there, and I'm just trying to make this parallel. So those are the parallel sides. And now I'm just going to connect the ends. There. So that's a, uh, you may have drawn a different kind of quadrilateral. Maybe you drew 
a parallelogram, which could look like this. Parallel sides here. Oh, that shouldn't have been yellow. And in parallelograms, the uh, opposite sides have to be the same length. Um, you, it's never going to be perfect when you're trying to do this, but you want to try and get it to look close. And that could be your parallelogram. It kind of didn't really work out. I think this side, is the top, was a little too short. So if I wanted to fix it, I'd make it a little bit longer. Maybe this will work. It's better. It could still be a trapezoid, which would still have at least one set of parallel sides. But uh, I think you, I hope you get the the idea. I could fi try to fix this one more time. This is a pretty short video, so I may as well try it. Let's see. Oh, it's going to have to be a little bit longer than that. Okay, so it's going to have to go to about there. That's as good as I'm going to get it. So a parallelogram would work, because that's not a rhombus, and it's not a rectangle, and it's not a square. And uh, that's, the, that's the parallelogram right there. Or you could draw a trapezoid. That would also work. And there's other kinds of trapezoids and parallelograms that look different than those. What matters is the parallel sides. So you can use your colored pencil to show the parallel sides here for the, uh, for the trapezoid. These are parallel. And for the parallelogram, these are parallel. And then I did finally get these parallel to each other.